Hello, today I'm going to be teaching you how to install and use Voice Meaner Banana. This is a great tool to use if you're looking to mix your sounds and have just overall controllability of your sounds and things. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is make sure that we have Voice Meter Banana and VB Audio Cables A and B installed. For the license prices, you can just click on the five euro one. Um, I can also try to send over the actual zip packages and we can kind of see if that works. Um, I had some difficulty with it myself, so you may end up having to spend the $4, but I highly recommend it just to make sure you have the ability to mix your sounds. This is very important. So after this, you're going so you're going to make sure that you have this installed and this installed. Once you have your app installed, um, please also make sure that you are running this video on another device because there will be a portion of setup that will cause you to lose sound temporarily. So you also want to make sure that you're able to hear what is going on. So you have your voice meter banana installed and you have your VB audio cables installed. From here, you're going to open Voice Meter Banana. Once this is loaded, you may lose sound temporarily, but don't worry, we're in this together. So you're going to see three sections here, your virtual audio inputs, and then these little hardware outs here as well. You're also going to see these mixers here, but you don't need to worry about the master section for getting it set up. The easiest way to understand what all of these things mean is think of your A tracks as what you hear and think of your B tracks as what they hear. I have my Spotify up a little too high, but that's okay. I'm using YouTube for sound and music. So, from here, you can double click here, and this is going to be your microphone. So you're going to set your microphone. I have mine as my Yeti Stereo Head microphone, but yours is just kind of whatever um, you have yours set as. And then from here, um, you can rename this section to you by right clicking it to mic and then, oops, there, hit enter to get out of it. And then from here, these are going to be your audio cables. After you've installed your VB audio cables, um, you're going to see, I'm going to turn down this a little bit so I can hear better. Okay, so from here. You're going to see VB Audio Cable A and video VB Audio Cable B. These are what you're going to set these two sections to, and you do it just this way you set up the microphone. You would come down, hit KS VB Audio Cable A, and the same thing for this side, VB cut, cut Audio Cable B. Now your virtual inputs, these are automatically set to voice meter um, visual audio input out and then voice meter auxiliary and then from here your a1 is going to be your headphones so i have mine set to my headphones here and your a2 um i have that set to my microphone so you would set that to your microphone because that's your out um and then from there you would set your aux to your A1, your voice meter to A1 and B1, your discord to A1, 
and your Spotify to A1, your microphone to B2. Now, it is very important that you set these up because your B1 is your system stuff and your B2 is your auxiliary stuff. You want to make sure that these are filtered out correctly and the reason why we have them sorted this way is because we want to hear our voice meter, we want to hear our system sounds and stuff, um, but we also want it to output so other people hear it. So that is how you have that set up and that's how people are going to be able to hear your game sound on your streams. And then your microphone, you want that routed separately because you don't want it getting mixed in with your uh, voice meter, um, your system sounds. So B2 you use as your auxiliary. So that's why we have mic set as B2. And then Spotify and Discord, I have those set as A1 um, to keep them separate. Um, but these are completely routed separately than your system sound, so that's why we have them set up here. You can also name them Spotify and Discord to help kind of differentiate between the two. And yeah. So, so far, right now, the way we have this set up is people will hear just your system sounds. Right now, they will not hear Spotify or Discord. But that's because we have those sounds specifically no longer tied to our system sounds. So, from here, to make sure that we have these routed differently, we're going to go to our sounds. In sound settings, um, first off, we want to make sure that we have our input and output set correctly um, to be banana. So, the best way to remember is your output is your input and your input is your output for this. So, you're going to use VB audio voice meter for your input as your output. And your input is going to be your auxiliary output. So make sure that your output is set to your input and your input is set to your output. And the reason we do that is because we have our inputs and outputs here, so you want to make sure that they match correctly. And remember, all of your, your outputs and things are all going to be rerouted through voice meter, so we want to make sure that's set up correctly. And then, to set up Spotify and Discord, you're going to come over to Advanced Sound Options. From here, you're going to change Discord to VB uh, Cable B. And then the same thing with Spotify when you have it running, but you would set that to Cable A. And then that way, your sounds will be run through these here. So when you open them, and hit play. It will automatically start routing your sound through there. Cool. And then after this, let me see here. What else are we missing? Oh yes, setting your default communications device. So once we have this set up, going to right click on your sounds, open sound settings, uh, no that's not right, sorry, open sounds, so you get to this menu, now you want your voice meter input set as your default device in playback. Wait a moment before moving forward. They are so cute when they're dancing. Okay, and then you're going to go to recordings.
and you want this set as your default communications device. Then from there, that will automatically be set. To do that, you would do properties, advanced, and then set, or you should just be able to right click it. Yeah, set as default communications device. So that's how you would do that. and then you hit OK and then your voice meter banana is all set up from there you can open your Streamlabs and we'll pull this over so you can see it now from here you can see we have all of these different sounds set up. So for system sounds, you would hit the settings and then you would hit properties and you want that set to your voice meter input. Remember your output is your input and your input is your output. Your mic is set to auxiliary output. Your Spotify, you would set to your VB cable A because that is what you set it in Waste Meter Banana. And then you would add an additional one for Discord as well. So like Discord here, maybe cable audio, audio, uh, a, audio cable B, yes. So there you have it. That is how you set up the things and after this, you should have everything properly set up and you should be able to hear everything. If you don't, then you probably fucked up somewhere. Probably rewatch the video and message me. But hopefully this helps you out and hopefully you were able to get this set up. If not, let me know. We can troubleshoot, do some things and see if we can get it working for you. Okay, thanks for watching.